Hi, I'm Jerome Jennings, Product Manager at SPX. Today I'm going to talk about some of the differences between belt drive systems and gear drive systems. What you see behind me here is a belt drive system, which is a typical arrangement found in some smaller cooling towers. SPX is one of the few manufacturers that focuses heavily on gear drive, which is a premium form of power transmission to the fan. Some of the disadvantages of the belt drive are the use of the actual belts. The belts may approach 95% efficiency when they're brand new, but as the belts stretch and wear over time, they can actually loosen and that efficiency drops, sometimes down to 90% or possibly even lower as the chevs corrode and the belts become untensioned. Squeaking is also a major concern for belts as they lose tension or if they're tensioned too tightly. Regular tensioning with the belts is also required. Most manufacturers state that you need to do this quarterly, so that's something to always keep in mind with the belt drive system. Chev alignment is also quite critical and belts will typically need to be replaced yearly. Another disadvantage of the belts is that you have this exposed rubber material within the cooling tower environment. So any type of chemicals, oils, or just moisture can degrade the belts over time. I'm gonna to talk to you about the advantages of the gear drive system versus the belt drive system that we talked about earlier. This is the Marley Series 2000 gear reducer that's used on the smaller factory assembled towers used commonly in the HVAC and light industrial markets. Some of the key features of the Marley gear reducer that provides advantages over belt drive systems is that you have a casted body here. This is protecting the bearings that are inside and giving it longer life in a cooling tower environment. This body protects the gear reducer from moisture, dirt, and other particulates and contaminants that want to get to those bearings. Another advantage of the Marley gear reducer is that the gear reducer is filled with oil as opposed to grease that is used on typical belt drive systems. Oil, or particularly an oil bath, allows those bearings to last longer than if they were grease lubricated and allows them to not require as much maintenance. The oil inside the gearbox usually resides about halfway up this body and when the gear reducer is in operation, we'll actually splash that oil up to the upper bearings as needed. This ensures a good coating of lubricant all inside the gearbox to keep those bearings lasting as long as possible. Marley gear reducers are also rated for a 2.0 service factor. This will allow them to go 100,000 hours in a cooling tower application, as opposed to belt drive, which may only be 40 to 60,000 hours. Belt drives are also typically rated at a service factor of 1.5. The advantage of the gear reducer drive system, particularly in this right angle arrangement, is that you get very good efficiency. Efficiency will typically range from 96 to 98% for this type of application with a right angle gear drive system for the entire life of the unit. This means more energy savings for the customer. When you look at the overall savings of a Marley gear reducer, although it may be slightly higher in terms of first cost, the long-term operating cost has significant advantages, and you can actually save $1,500 to $2,000 annually with the Marley gear reducer because it uses a synthetic oil directly from the factory via the Marley System 5 warranty guarantee. Five-year oil changes is a significant advantage compared to tensioning belts, greasing bearings, as you find in typical belt drive systems. Another advantage of the Marley gear reducer, thanks to the efficient transmission inside with the gearing, is that these are ideal for use with variable frequency drives or VFDs. They can accommodate speed changes very well as opposed to belt drive systems which can slip as the acceleration and deceleration occurs with a variable frequency drive system. Again, I'm Jerome Jennings and thank you for watching.